Hi guys, my name is Alyssa and today's video is going to be reviewing the Pepper Bra. I got a lot of different comments from you guys on wanting to see a more in-depth review of the bra and you ask, I deliver. So be sure to like this video down below, subscribe so you can see more of these amazing videos from me and let's get into my review. So a few months back I had done a video on my best bras for small boobs and this was an updated video because I've previously done one like years and years ago and I really really raved about Aerie being my favorite bra company for my small chested gals. Now I did mention the brand Pepper and I had received a bra from them. They sent it to me to review but I was not getting paid for any sort of review or mention whatsoever so this is completely not not sponsored and the bra that I had chosen was the limitless wireless bralette um, in the size 32 B this bra retails for $48 so it's definitely a little bit on the pricier side but the size range is very very broad so it goes all the way small 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 32 triple a and then you've got your larger sizes I believe it's a 36 double D so really, really love the size range. And of course, Pepper's mission is essentially to make bra buying a lot easier for a lot of us who feel not part of the standard mold. So for my smaller chested ladies, you guys know what I mean. It can feel like the bra industry is against us. The bra industry does not want to showcase us because you see so many ads on the internet, on social media with all these women with beautiful large chests and you're like, how is this possible? So because of that, Pepper wanted to change the industry and make something that was more body inclusive and showcase different bodies, especially our small chested gals. So I really, really love their mission and their stance on that. And I think in general, that's a great small business to support. So a little more detail, there is um, removable padding on the inside and overall it does feel very soft, molded, um, nothing that would stand out to me as uncomfortable um, or anything that I would say is bad quality. Um, the clasp pinch has, you know, the standard three different hooks and then you've got your standard set of hooks in the back here and a nice little gold detailing on the straps themselves. So overall, I think it is made very, very nicely. Um, and I wanted to compare it to my favorite Aerie bra, which is the Airy They're Real Sunny. Um, it is the one that I had picked in my previous video as being my favorite of all time. It is the perfect universal bra and it is so well fitting. It is really cute. It's comfortable as well as the price is, is really great. It's around $20 and Aerie always does sales and discounts. So sometimes you can pick it up for, I think the last time I got it for about $18. So really, really affordable, which I think is something that a lot of us feel um, pressure on. I can think of the first con with this one is that $48 is a lot of money to spend, especially when it's someone like me who doesn't have a lot to work with and it kind of seems like a silly investment. Then the other thing that is a bit off for me is that all of their range has a similar look to them. So they've got the mesh detailing and they've got this front stitching. And I personally do not like the front stitching. You guys can see it here. Sometimes it's something that can show through, especially on your tighter tops. If it's like a tighter white t-shirt, even a black t-shirt, sometimes you can see this thick seam through it. And for me, that's not gonna fly, especially with a nude bra. You know, you want it to be nude, you want it to be nice and soft and contours to your body, not an abrasive stitching that's gonna show through. Overall though, I think the material is comparable and I do think that Aries is a little bit softer um, just because Aries doesn't have the stitching and it also doesn't have the mesh detailing, which I think it's kind of a hit or miss if you like mesh. I'm not great on the mesh. Um, I think it can look a little bit tacky and kind of cheap sometimes. Um, but overall, I do think this is a great brand to be supporting. It is a small woman owned business and they are trying to disrupt the standard bra industry that we see that is not very inclusive, that is not very small chest girl friendly. And I do like that and I feel like I do support that. So. While I do think the bra is expensive and I don't love the designs, do I think it's a great company to support and worth trying out? Absolutely. 
so they are a little bit on the pricier side but I definitely think if you are considering purchasing one that you should leave me a comment below if you do and let me know your favorite thing on Pepper's website I'm interested in checking out others you know this is the the bralette and not the actual all you bra but let me know your thoughts on Pepper below and that's it for today. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and I will talk to you guys all very, very soon. Bye.